If you're looking to write blogs faster using the power of AI, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use AI to write a blog post from start to finish in Brainwork. We're going to go through how to do keyword research, generate titles, outlines, paragraphs, and make sure you watch until the end because I'm going to show you a couple of cool tips and tricks. Starting from our dashboard, we're going to want to start with keyword research. So we're going to go here, type in new search, and enter in our keyword. And you're going to want to enter in a keyword that's around three to five words. If it's longer than five words long, the AI is going to have a difficult time generating a good output. And if it's too short, it may be too broad. So the ideal length is three to five words. So we're going to enter in search. And so this looks like a pretty good keyword. There's a lot of volume. Competition isn't too bad. Difficulty is medium. We can see other related keywords if we want to incorporate any of these as secondary keywords into the article. We can look at top questions asked, so we can potentially incorporate these questions into our article, as well as looking at the top ranking posts, which we may want to take some inspiration from and then go even more in depth and longer. So for the sake of keeping this video short, we're not going to get too much into detail on the keyword research but this looks like a pretty good keyword so we're going to go ahead and type new post and this is letting us know that based on this keyword or this topic it's going to have a good output if you get the stop sign you're going to want to go back and refine your keyword so that you have a better chance of getting a good output so here we can select additional keywords ideally two to three um, additional keywords so let's go ahead and enter in this additional keyword and if we wanted to manually add any additional secondary keywords we could do that here. So what we're going to want to do is use the assistant. We're going to set the tone. For this one I'm going to select casual and we're going to go over to writing tools and get the AI's help on generating some titles. And it's a good idea to use these like and dislike buttons so that way it helps train the AI. So I'm going to dislike the ones I don't really love and I'm going to maybe I like this one and maybe I want to adjust that to seven. If you want to you can generate more titles here. Now we're going to move along and get some help with the AI to generate an outline. So we're going to select outline and we're going to generate here. If you want a more FAQ style outline that's a little bit longer and the subheaders or sorry headers are questions, you can select this to turn it. In this case I want to keep it simple. I want an intro, headers, and a conclusion. So I'm going to generate So let's say I like this one and I want to go ahead. Again, if I wanted to, I could generate more if I wasn't happy with this. And I can also go in and edit this if I want to tweak it a little bit. So maybe I want to change this to Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the AI to generate paragraphs for us. So we're going to select paragraph, here we're going to highlight the paragraph, and we can either generate here, and we can go ahead and add it in here, or in other ways we can select here and select paragraph, and it's going to paste it right in the editor. So let's move along and generate paragraphs for each of these sections really quickly first and then we can go back and make some refinements. So now that we have the main content flushed out, now we're going to want to read through this and I'll show you some other tips and tricks that we can use. So let's say for this introduction paragraph, we're not really loving it, maybe we want it a little bit longer and maybe we want to include a statistic. So what I can do is I can tell the AI what I want it to write by giving it a command.
So this is the command and you want to make it as detailed and descriptive as possible for the best output. And now I'm going to go here and select command. And again, you can do that here by selecting command and then highlighting whatever your command is. So let's say I'm happy with this introduction. I'm going to delete this. Now let's say I wasn't loving this paragraph. I could select it or part of it and then tell the AI I want it to rephrase it. And I can do that here or by selecting rephrase here, making sure that this is highlighted and then selecting generate. So let's go ahead and we're going to swap out that content here. Now let's say I want to include an image in this article. So I'm going to move my cursor to where I want the image pasted, go here and select image, and I'm going to type in email marketing. And maybe I like this image, so I'm going to select it, done, and it's going to upload this image right here. Now let's say I want to expand on this section here. So I'm going to navigate here. I'm going to turn on Write More, select the output length, which is around 125 words, and I want it to continue writing here. Now before doing this, what you're going to want to do is add a triple plus in front of this to tell the AI to continue writing just from this section. If I don't include this plus plus plus, it's going to continue writing and it's probably going to generate some more headers for me. So if I select here and write more, the AI is suggesting that this is a good place to stop because this is a simple paragraph. So what I can do is start a new paragraph here, go to transition words, maybe start with additionally, and then get the AI to write more for me. And let's say I want it to continue writing more. I'm going to turn that to large output. So let's say I'm happy with this. I want to turn off the write more so I don't accidentally waste any words. I can now delete this plus plus plus. Let's look at a few more ways I can use the AI to help me write this article. Maybe I want to generate a listicle here. So on top of titles, outlines, and paragraphs, and using commands, I can also rephrase, I can summarize, I can get steps here. So here I'm going to highlight this and generate some steps. I can add this in here. I can also use some of the SEO tools to look at ways that I can improve my article. I could set a featured image here, maybe look at keywords and see if there's any related keywords I want to incorporate. I could look at the top questions and incorporate these as headers. Maybe I want to add a header here and incorporate this. Then I can select here, maybe I want to write a paragraph, select this here, generate a paragraph. And let's say I've gone through and I've read and edited this blog post, added a couple of more images. I can use this to see if there's any other suggestions that it's giving me to improve this article. And now I want to check for plagiarism. So what I want to do is I want to go here for the plagiarism checker and I want to select text and check for plagiarism. So you can go through and check the article this way. And let's say I want to share this with someone on my team before I publish it. I can make this public and share out that link with someone. Let's say I want to download. Here are my download options. And when you're ready to publish, Brainwork integrates with WordPress. So I can go here, select my website, and have it published to my WordPress blog. So hopefully you found this video helpful and you're ready to start using Brainwork and leverage the power of AI to write blog posts five times faster. If you have any feedback or questions, hit us up in the comments and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. The algorithm loves it. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a future video. And you can hit us up on all the social channels.